ありがとうございました。いらっしゃいませ。
なおい黄金飯が食えないようにしてやるよギャッカバーナすぐに上げてやるよ。
Welcome. Thanks. <sighs> hey, Namba. You good? Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Guess you could already tell, but yeah. I've got to get something off my chest. You got a sec? <laughs> da na 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 Today on Kasuga's Counseling Corner... What in the hell? You're on Ichiban Kasuga's Counseling Corner, man! From trivial bullshit to life's worst catastrophes, one call solves it all. <laughs> what dumbass would ever go to you for counseling? You! Why, good sir, you're the very first dumbass on the show! Wow, what an honor. Uh, okay, for real though, I'm all ears. Promise you won't tell a soul? Yeah, cross my heart. Okay, so, last night I had a hankering for a nightcap, so I dragged my ass down here. But it was late, the bartender wasn't around, and so I'm sitting here all by myself. Then I start thinking, what would be the harm in helping myself to a small pour? 
Just a shot, really. Figured I could pay it back later, you know? That's when I see it. An unopened legend malt. Shining in the dark like it had my name on it. What's a legend malt? A super high-end whiskey. The king of kings. One glass is at least ten grand. Get out of here! I know, right? I couldn't dream of buying a shot, much less a glass. But I figured a drop would be okay. They don't exactly sell it by the drop, dude. Well, you're right. But I took one anyway, because who was gonna stop me? I poured just a drop onto my hand. And when that sweet honey touched my tongue, I went straight to heaven. It was that good? Best whiskey I've ever had in my life. A taste that I felt through my whole body. A fruity aroma that I can still smell if I try. I'm telling you, it was pure magic. All my cares just melted away. It's really that good? They don't call it the legend for nothing, huh? Yep. Packs a legendary punch, too. Next thing I know, I'm staring down an empty bottle. Wait... Don't tell me you drank it all? I did. Guess I blacked out or something. But the fact remains, I downed at least a hundred grand worth of whiskey. Well, what'd the bartender say? Well, you think I actually told him? What's he gonna do, hand me a bill that'll never get paid? What I did instead was I found the nearest mini-mart, grabbed the cheapest whiskey I could find, and replaced it. Wait, so the whiskey in the Legend Malt bottle right now is... Horse piss. To the brim. Dude, someone's gonna find out eventually, you know? I know, why do you think I'm so stressed out? So come on, Cusco, what would you do if you were me? Uh, if it were me, I'd... Well, it's not like you can return it. What's done is done, you know? And if I get caught, I just pull something out of my ass. <laughs> well, it must be nice to have that kind of confidence. I could see that working for you. Yeah, man. No point crying over spilled whiskey. Either way, I can't just ignore what I did. I'm practically a thief now. Yeah, but if you're gonna steal, at least you made it legendary, right? I say, you gotta stay cool. See what happens. Huh. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, if it isn't my two favorite vagabonds, why are you two not drinking? Uh, we were just figuring out some life stuff. Without me? <laughs> At least you saved me a seat. Yeah, uh, of course we did. Shall we? I'm in the mood for something special today, and I know this place has some killer whiskey. Uh, you want whiskey? Yeah. Is there a problem? Not exactly a problem. Good. I was thinking we could do something fancy for once. You don't mean... Bartender, I'll take a 12-year-old silver malt on the rocks. You sure? It's 1,500 yen a glass. <laughs> what? A girl can't reward herself every now and again? Oh, thank God. We're gonna shit our pants every time someone orders a whiskey now, aren't we? No doubt about that. Ichiban, want to grab a drink with me? Sure, but you really know how to knock him back, Sachan. Promise me you'll keep it to one or two. Oh, come on. It's no big deal if we drink more than that. It's not like I'm going to make a move on you. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. So, hey, you're technically still a mama at a hostess club, right? Yeah, but I didn't found the place. I was promoted to mama after Nonomiya saw that I was the best hostess there. 
<laughs> if you're that good a hostess, you'll be bored drinking with me. I ain't much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. Or ex-boyfriends. Oh, pretty impressive that you trust your staff to run the whole joint. They know the basics of the business. I'm the kind of mama who teaches her youngsters well. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> well, I do. But of course, it was that desire to educate that caused all the drama in my family. Was that all the stuff with Nanoha and your dad that you mentioned before? Yeah. Well, at least things have simmered down among us recently. Thanks to you guys. My dad's in a real nursing home now, and Nanoha's looking for a more legit job like she had before. So you call them pretty often? Oh, no. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Nanoha doesn't want to see me. She'd be furious. Why? You two really can't get along? That's an understatement. I haven't seen her in seven years. I do call her up sometimes, but she never wants to meet in person. I'd like to, though, and I tell her that. She turns me down every time. <laughs> Guess I have no one to blame but myself, really. I'm listening. It's a boring story. You sure you want to hear it? Yeah, <laughs> that's me. And why not? I love shonen manga. I'm sure I'll like your story, too. <laughs> no way do you really mean that. It's true. Now come on, let me hear it. <laughs> okay, if you're going to beg, I guess I have to tell you. Thanks. Uh, so, go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? Well, I think it's because I was just too controlling. I always had something to say about everything she did. My mom was sick throughout our whole childhood, so I felt like I had to take care of my shy little sister. Little sister? But you're the same age, unless there's a new kind of twin I don't know about. Of course we're the same age. Her personality just always made her seem younger. She was so timid. I was the one with the guts, just like mom. It's probably why mom trusted me more than dad. He was closer to Nanoha since she took after him. I gotcha. Dad wasn't earning much from the little company he ran back then. I tried to help him out by getting a part-time job in high school. Didn't take me long to figure out nightlife entertainment was where the real money was. Pretty soon I was essentially the breadwinner of the family. And after mom died, even more so. All I wanted was for Nanoha to get into a good college and live an honest life. But you think that came off as controlling to her? Yeah. I told her which college to go to. Insisted she become some sort of white-collar professional. But the straw that really broke the camel's back was me chiming in about her new boyfriend. I listed every red flag I could possibly think of, then I asked her if the dude raised any of them. What, like you made a physical list? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like being dirty, acting douchey at restaurants, condescending towards women, always name-dropping. There were a lot. I went too far, honestly. But you know what? The bastard did fit a lot of them. She was like, oh, but he's getting it together. He's starting a consulting firm. But I told her to dump his ass. I'm betting she didn't like that. No, she did not. She threw stuff, screamed herself hoarse, cried. Even my freaking dad cried seeing all the drama. Oh, jeez. It was that intense? I think it always bothered him that he couldn't make enough money to help my mom. He was embarrassed I made more than he did. I remember, after he found out what my pay was, he just started doing whatever I said. And then all of a sudden, during this fight, he started sobbing about how he should have helped Nanoha break free from me. 
Sounds like he was finally letting out everything he'd bottled up. Yeah. And it turned out Nanaha's boyfriend problem was just the beginning. Because in that moment, I realized my family was distancing themselves from me. Sachan. It was, um, seven or eight years ago when I decided to leave home and just focus on work. Imagine how it felt when Nonomiya called and told me about this new family trouble. How Nanoha chose to work at a soap land instead of asking me for help. I was shocked. <sighs> I really was. Just in case it ever comes up, we're all supposed to pretend you don't know she was working at Otohime Land, right? Knowing my sister, she'd die of embarrassment if she found out I know. Well, then the charade must go on. <laughs> I think I had one too many after all. I didn't plan on talking for so long. But thanks for getting a drink with me, Ichiban. Everyone's going through something. Having a friend to talk to just makes it a little easier. Yo, Adachi-san. Hey, Kasaga. Let's have a drink. On me today, huh? On you? You win the lottery or something? Nah, I'm just feeling good because for once, I've got some money left over after sending Takashi his allowance, so... Mm. Bartender, give me something dirt cheap and kerosene strong. I'm glad you were able to get some money to Takashi-kun. Same here. And look what I got today. It's a letter from Takashi. <laughs> I always look forward to these. Good shit. Did you read it already? Nope. I was just about to open it. Let's, uh, hope it says something about him passing the bar, huh? Well, <laughs> let's see what it says. Dear Yamada-san, Thank you so much for sending money again this month. <laughs> what, what's, what's with the laugh? <laughs> that name. Yamada-san. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. The kid knows me as a rich fucker named Yamada. Anyway, let me keep reading. I've been pretty busy with this year's bar on the horizon. Hmm. Mm, so bar exams are coming up, huh? Yep. Yeah, I'm counting on him to pass this year. Give my wallet a break. What else did he say? I know it's sudden, Yamada-san, but I have a favor to ask you. The other day when I was riding my bike, I accidentally scraped the bumper of a parked car. Hmm. Apparently it was a really expensive car, and now the owner is demanding a million yen to cover the repair. I don't have that kind of money, not even close, Yamada-san. Do you think I might be able to borrow it from you? I'll promise to pay you back after I become a lawyer. Holy shit. One million to fix a bumper? Well, how, how am I supposed to come up with that? And what does Takashi get off asking for such a huge favor? You say that, but doesn't Takashi-kun think you're some rich philanthropist? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true, but shit. What's the real me supposed to do now?
Guess you're gonna have to get out there and earn some cash, man. By the sweat of your brow. I guess so. But a million isn't something you can just go out and earn. Well, that's where the sweat comes in. You know, I gotta say, you got the most positive attitude of anyone I know. But attitude don't pay the bills. So, I need one million yen. Shit. Where do I even start? Wait, hold on. What's up? We were both surprised about the cost. A million is just way too much for a simple bumper fix. Hell yeah. I mean, you can buy a whole car for that much. A cheap one, but still. I'd say there's a pretty good chance this is a scam. A scam? Yeah. Some con man probably parked his car on a road that was too narrow, then waited for some poor sucker to come by and scrape the car. Once that happens, the con man throws a fit and guilt trips the victim into paying. Damn. You know, you might be right, as fucked up as that is. And it wouldn't surprise me if Takashi fell for it. I mean, he studies so much, he probably doesn't know much about the real world. And most likely, he knows jack shit about cars as well. So how about this? You meet up with the owner of the car in person. Say you want to settle out of court. Yeah, and if we catch him in a lie, mm, we give him what he deserves. This guy will be sorry he ever saw Takashi. <laughs> I like the way you think, Kasuga. Glad I read you that letter. Happy to help. I'll write Takashi back and ask for the car owner's contact info. Yeah, we'll see what's what. Man, I really thought I was in a tight spot for a minute there. <laughs> well, we're not out of the woods just yet. Well, you think I'm celebrating too early? There's some high-end, classier shit cars out there on the road. I mean, limited edition luxury sports cars go for hundreds of millions. And if Takashi-kun really did scrape a car, and it was one of those, then I don't doubt the repair would cost a million. Yeah, but come on, when was the last time you saw a luxury car around here? It's gotta be a scam. No doubt about it. I'm just saying, don't get ahead of yourself. Ahead of myself? I'm just trying to stay positive. Now, how about we drown those worries of yours with a drink? Bartender, pour us a couple tall ones. Put it on my tab. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome. Thanks.
Kasuga-san, where's my premium sushi set? Here, that's what you wanted? <laughs> just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Can't believe you went and got this just to save a dang crawfish. Here, as promised, Nancy's all yours. Boiler, griller, do whatever you like. I'm not doing any of that to her. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Thanks for both me and Nancy. Enjoy that sushi, huh? Oh, yes, will do. <laughs> Nancy, you and I are going to get on just fine. <laughs> ありがとうございます。Hey.
Sup? ありがとうございます。
Yes! 